Hi, this is Natalie. Today I want to invite you to paint this with me. So it's called Couple in the Moonlight. It's quite a simple painting. You'll need three or four colors, a couple brushes, uh, you know, a 16 by 20 canvas or a little bit smaller is fine. Um, so my business, Pause and Paint, for six months have been kind of on pause, literally. So today I'm happy to make a painting for you to do step by step. Um, I want to share a, a stencil for you so you don't have to draw the couple, but if you want to, be my guest. Um, and you know, sometimes we just need a little break. We need to, you know, kind of forget about our to-do list and give our mind a break. And painting can be a wonderful outlet. Um, you know, try it if you've never done it before, because this is not like drawing or you don't have to be an artist to do this. You just need to kind of, you know, give it a try and have fun. So let's get started. I hope you enjoy it. She calls me day and night. Okay, so this is what I used for my painting. I have a couple of uh, large brush, a medium, and a small pointy brush, some water, paper, towels, and this is my palette after I painted because I didn't do it before I started, but you can see the white, I have blue, black, and some green. Okay. water to my brush, just give it a couple of swirls, press down, get your brush saturated with water, mixing my water with the white. I want to add a pin drop, pin drop of black, so just create a little bit of a tint, okay, just a little bit of black so it's not white white we have like a very light gray at this point and let's loosely add the paint to the case any which way it doesn't matter kind of grab a little bit more of that white and follow your guidelines i did a quick sketch but um if i put this video on youtube i am going to add a stencil for you to trace. organic looking really this part is totally up to you how you want to create your moon you can even use um, paper towels or um, if you want to be good to the environment just have a little towel and just kind of dab a little bit here and there Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of that same color right here. And just add the reflection of our moon. It's not going to stay like that. There's going to be some waves happening, so you don't have to do texture or anything like that. Just 
just add your color, the gray that you put, like kind of between the light and the darkest color, kind of a medium gray. And just paint a little area. So that's my medium gray. And now I'm gonna go in my darker color. So I'm gonna add a little bit of black to a portion of my white here. Pretty much the same amount of blue. Just scoop some up and add it to your black. So we have a blue gray happening here. And I like to add a little bit of green just to make it interesting. You don't have to, you can use just blue, black, and white. This is quite dark, so you might want to just grab a little bit more white as you go. So I just go and paint and following my moon outline. It's a little bit dark because I want my silhouette to kind of pop from the background. So I'm kind of going to go, I'm going to paint a, a little bit darker on the edge. And as the, the moonlight is you know, brighter here, I'm going to lighten it up. Okay, But I do like this color though. It's very dramatic. So I'm doing the sides of my canvas as well. do this and a little bit of darker right here and I'm going to lighten it up you'll see what happens but first I'm going to do the reflection so I'm going to keep that same darkness so you just add your paint in a kind of a, a circular motion or like an arc motion. Use your shoulder, move your brush with your with your body. Okay. Do this. And now I'm gonna go lighter. So I'm gonna oh no first I need to do this darker area right here. So I'm going to pick up some paint the same thing right here. Connect it with you here. Just be aware of your horizon line on the ground. So maybe you can leave a little bit of white just to know where to start. But you'll you'll follow this reflection of the moon. So here is my darker color here. whatever I need to fix after this for the convenience of the video. I'm not going to start turning my canvas around to make you dizzy. So you can actually go all the way to the, like for this portion right here, you can actually go all the way to, all the way to the moon. Just follow the same direction. I think it's important to, you know, like use your shoulder and paint with your shoulder so you don't have like a static look to your painting. Okay, so now we have our gray, our dark, different colors, but 
but you get the idea. Dark here. direction we're going in an arc okay and now we're gonna add the white to our color so it's light lighter I would say two to three shades lighter and now we're gonna go add a little bit of water so we have transparency too much paint just remove the excess and now we're gonna add our lighter color oops I kind of lost my silhouettes but we'll fix that it's okay so now you want to go on to the dark with the light so you have those nice Transitions. Why are you Go up, add some brush strokes, and kind of meet the moon reflection this way. gonna add more um, like a little bit more of those brush strokes right here so for now we're just kind of making our moon nice and round I require a little bit more water to find your guidelines if not you can always trace it again over the paint so I'm just gonna go like this brush and do some of those brush strokes like this fix some of that white after okay now I'm going to use some of the white also to create those waves I'm going to actually go with some darker waves first so I'm grabbing some darker color and just go and try not to make waves too much like just more like lines you don't got you don't want to go like this just kind of soft waves like this and then you can also use some of that darker in your sky like this here now you're going to take your smaller brush and grab some of that white it's not white white at this point because my paint is kind of mixed So now you want to create
these weights. here just to create like here I did a lot more smoothing out uh, you don't have to be that fancy you can just use the white and kind of just going this way you could have done that before the weights actually but that's okay Do a few stars, dot, and then I do a little swirl around it. You don't have to, you can just do dots if you want. Small brush, little dot, one, two, three, four. A little swirl here lightly. There you go. And more stars. Right here. And maybe a swirl. Don't put too much paint on your brush when you do your swirl. Have more control that way. Okay, so I like this, I like that. Um, maybe a few more waves with the light color, just kind of to blend this area. More white. bit more shine in the water just little brush strokes like this kind of play with it so it's not you don't have your transition is um, gradual and the reflection of the stars so I'm going to do one right here one right here and one with a swirl again don't put too much paint strokes here and there okay so it's different obviously this I smoothed the painting and did a transition a little bit more but I think this creates a nice reflection as well and we might play a little bit more here with some lighter paint but right now I'm gonna just uh, find my silhouette it's gonna dry I'll draw in my line just so I don't struggle with the black paint and I'll be right back. So I just drew in my silhouette with a pencil. Okay, so we're gonna add the dark silhouette, a little bit of reflection of the silhouette in the water. We need to add grass and those little whimsical uh, plants right there and then we might play a little bit more with uh, this part here but um you know we'll try to keep it simple Feels 
brush and you have to be straight to straight. And I'm going to add a glass plate. And you can just kind of I'm just adding a little bit of white in those swirls.
help with the transition of everything. So you add white. And if you want to add a little bit more gray and you continue to blend, then you do that. A few dots. It helps with creating a reflection effect. a little bit of white to define your band, to define, to highlight a little bit of their hair, then you can do that. So I did the bottom. This side is done, and this is white on top, and then I'm going to switch brush and show you how to do my sides. So here I just do a little angle. finished you don't have to frame a little 16 by, by 20 canvas like that you can just paint the sides and it's fine Whoa. I need a few waves on the side but I like that better. and then we'll do the top which is white and then this little part right here darker Reflection makes it kind of blending. Okay, so what I want to do is add some of this um, pouring medium. Medium de lissage, just a little bit right here. Um, just a little gray transparency to the reflection of the painting because I find it a little bit too uh, white. So just a little bit of that medium gray inside the medium. Okay. Don't want it too dark. Okay. We needed to wait for the painting to be to be dry before you do that. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and I'm showing you this woman doing needlework because that's going to be my next tutorial. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Take care.